Hello, 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 hello. Hello, everybody. How are you doing on this lovely, lovely, is it Thursday? Yeah, Thursday evening. Welcome to the show. My name is Fanny Reinders, and today I am with you coding GitHub Actions. We're going to be chatting a while. We're going to be um, doing all sorts of cool things, I hope. Um, GitHub Actions is also very, fairly new for me. Um, I've got accepted into the beta program. <clears throat> um, like a while ago, but I haven't touched it yet. I thought, well, it is a good, um, it is a good way to uh, introduce GitHub Actions even to myself uh, while streaming it live, and then we all can learn together. 
if you just joined us, uh, welcome. Um, like I said, this is very informal. If you want to chat with me in the uh, chat window there on, on the right, you can just uh, say hi, um, and then maybe you'll get an emote storm. You know, like, that's a bit poor, but how about a big emote storm uh, if you chat to me? But I'll do reach out to you, and um, now let's make this a nice stream. So let's get going. So, if you just joined us, welcome. My name is Farney Renders. I am coming to you live from my attic. That didn't come out well, but <clears throat> so I've got a little frog in my throat. <clears> throat> it's uh, because of uh, sleeping not as much as I want to. So let's uh, get some music going. Uh, is something wrong with the music here? Let me see. Uh, it looks fine. Like always, let me know in the chat if the music is too soft, and I think it's too soft right now. Um, let's go to the next track. That's better. How are everyone? How, how are everyone? I always get it wrong. Always, always, always. How is everyone? Because one is a singular, right? Um, before we get going, let's, uh, let's quickly see how, uh, we, what do we have in the chat room? We've got no one in the chat right now. I've got apparently I've got a few viewers uh, watching me currently, so hello. Um, so what I normally do, uh, if you don't want to talk to me, I can talk to you, so it is fine. Um, mm, let's quickly share the screen. I do want to shout out uh, to uh, to my fellow streamers. Uh, this is Gerald Fischleis. You can go to twitch.tv slash jfforschleis. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, check out his stream. He does normally he does uh, um, Xamarin coding. So if you're into Xamarin.net, you can follow uh, good old uh, Gerald Verschleis. Uh, he will talk to you, to you all about Xamarin. And then also we have Jan de Vries. Hey, look, he's hosting me. <laughs> streamception. Let's do a streamception. Um. Oh, I have not set up my uh, voice trigger. I will do that now in a sec. Um, so Jan is doing predominantly, he's doing .NET and Java, um, and I almost said Java, .NET and Azure stuff. So if you are into Azure and serverless and all that kind of funky stuff, do follow, uh, do follow Jan Dev or Jan De Vries, is, that's his full name. Um, if you are into uh, uh, office development, look is live now uh, on the weekly SDN cast. You can follow Martin van Stam, and uh, he's doing Microsoft Office development. So if you want to do Office development cross-platform, he's the guy you need to follow. That's at uh, or twitch.tv slash Martin van Stam. And then last but not least, uh, my friend uh, uh, Eric Lieben has been starting streaming. Um, he's streaming, um, I think he's streaming in the name of Arela Amsterdam or something. But uh, do check out his stream. He's doing, I think, front-end coding um, in Arela JS. Uh, do check out twitch.tv slash Eric Lieben. And follow them because they are great guys. They provide great content. All right, with that out of the way, let's give a hand of applause for, the, uh, for our friends. Uh, let me see who is here. Who is here? Uh, let's see. Okay, so in a previous episode, I've been doing this voice trigger thing, uh, which means if I uh, open up the terminal and I type, um, or I can actually just launch it from my stream deck. <coughs> I've got such a bad um, throat now. Went. That's much better. Uh, normally when you go voice trigger, If you execute that command and you pass in your parameters, 
Um, in this case, I'm passing in my config file. Um, that will, well, let me actually go see if I can find it. In here, let's see, let's see what's happening in here. Um, okay, let's just see if I can get that, maybe. No. There's, I have my subscription that's um, actually a bit hidden. Let me just maybe hide that. Okay, but this is the config file I was talking about uh, in my previous stream. Um, so this way we can do... Hey, Nimbot TV, hello. Thank you very much for joining us tonight. How are you doing? Um, you specify your Microsoft Cognitive Services uh, subscription ID and uh, the region. Hey, I'm doing perfectly fine. Thank you very much for, uh, for reaching out in the chat. Do you like... To uh, see me code C# today or .NET or GitHub Actions, I'm quite flexible tonight. I feel, I feel on the edge. Let me know what you like. Um, and then, of course, to getting back, uh, you have to trigger. So in, in this case, when we have um, C# -sharp, okay, C# -sharp and website, I think C# -sharp and .NET wins. But there's no, no GitHub Actions, I guess. The title of this. Stream is called Key Up Actions. Come on. Uh, Jan Dev, I'd love to see actions, but also C sharp. Martin von Stum says cheater. Wow. Wow. Shame on you, Martin. Be nice. <laughs> so, in any case, let's see. Um, give me some examples. What can I put in here? So, uh, I've got some, some triggers. So let's say if we speak about, will it actually work if we say .NET? Will it actually pick up .NET? Um, I hope so. We can, we can try it. And if we say, for instance, um, give me some ideas. Jan Dev in the chat room, Martin Franz in the chat room, Nimbot TV in the chat room. Give me some ideas what I can put in as triggers. Um, Foo. How about every time I say foo? Ah, that's a bit weird. I don't know if it will, this will work though. Where can I get? Okay, let me just run this now. See if this works. So this is my config, right? So I'm gonna start voice trigger. I'd say a baby screaming. Alright, so now let me see. Foo. Did not pick up food. Maybe my key has changed. Something is went wrong. This runs. So let me see. Dot net. Oh, something is not right. I think my keys are. Let me quickly check my keys. I think my key. I think I've rotated my keys. And because of that, it's not working anymore. Quickly copy my pasting my keys in here. That looks fine. That oh, looks fine. What is the problem? So launch again. Okay. So now, <laughs> every time you say PHP, a nuke exploding sound would be nice. The problem is, I never say PHP. Well, I did say that now twice in the stream. Mm, for some reason, let me see if I can open up this push trigger uh, again. Hello? Dot net. That does not work. Who? That does not work either. Hmm, why doesn't that work? I don't know. You tell me, Jan de Vries. Let's maybe go back and add a additional one. Hello. Just to see if it works. If I had it like that. Oh, I'm missing something here. Because, let me see. Um, I've got Dream Deck. My stream deck is executing voice trigger. 
and it's passing in this trigger file, this config file, so which is, which should be this file that I just had. So now if I just run it again, maybe just close it. I need some, some logging or something else is wrong. Look, it's not even picking up. Hmm, I see. Okay, wait, I know the problem. There's a huge hotpoint factory fire near me just now. Uh, Nimbo TV, there is a huge hotpoint factory fire near me just now. That is interesting. I have no idea what a... F oh, hotpoint factory fire. Whoa, well, I hope you're safe. Let's see, uh, HP net or um, environment. You say it's development. And that's how you specify your development. I will search it up right now. Just give me one second. That's how you set up your development environment. So now when I launch it again, it's still production though. Icebinet core environment. That's right, right? Yandev, I need your help. Why is it still showing production? That's weird. Even though if I go to HTTPS, open that guy up. Okay. Hello. Nothing is happening. This is the problem with the server side things, right? So, hello, hello. So it's supposed to log stuff and it's not working. Maybe I've reached my, it would be funny. It would be funny if I reached my uh, limit or something. Okay, so I tell you what, let's regenerate it. And let's close everything down. Sorry folks, this wasn't planned. I did hope to, to have this working. For some reason it's not working. Or maybe this .net thing is maybe messing up. Not allowed to have dots as keys. Oh, come on. Let's actually, let's go back and have it the way it was, like JavaScript. Okay. The dot might make sense. That's a bug. We need to file that bug. Launch it. Hello? JavaScript? Something else is wrong, it's as if it's, oh, I know what the problem is. See, this is my problem. So it picks up. How is that possible? Isn't that supposed to pick up my, hello? Hey, that's not also the case. Hmm. Hello, hello? No, for some reason that doesn't work. Let's debug it, folks. Let's see. Maybe a website was a better option. We will do the website. Don't you worry about it. Uh, let's see what happens here. So if we run this, what can be the problem? Uh, da -da 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 -da. This used to work, right? So I had it working. Won't ship anything that does not work, right? There's a, all the configurations is in there. That works. Now if I say that that does not work. That strains hello. <laughs> Let's see what happens. Uh, okay, so my background service, so that's sort of even. A little bit, uh, in here, the bug. Okay, that's fine. 
starts up recognizing Hello, hello. There's not even dispatching. Well, when it's recognizing. I'm probably doing something wrong. Let's do this. Why can this thing now not? Let's get the billing and see. Maybe it's not. Can't show me any billing information. Darn it! That is very strange, man. Maybe the different key will work. Let's see what happens. From subscription. Let's just hard code this guy in here for now. I know, I know. Uh, that should be fine, right? So if I do this. Hi, Eric Lehman. How are you doing, sir? Thank you very much for coming. And we have a config, which is... Cool. That works. Hello. Complete handshake. For some reason, my background task is not started up. Can it be a miss configuration? Recognizing start async. Something has changed. Question is what? Let's go here. Okay, everyone wants me to go to GitHub Actions. Okay, so it goes in here. It sleeps and it goes in the game again. But nothing gets locked here. Something has changed. What? <clears throat> I have no idea. Now this is the equivalent of doing debug.log. Is that debug.info or something on the debugger? Don't worry, I'll fix it. It's not even running. Oh, there we go. That logs. Hello. Hello. Hi, JavaScript. 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 No, it's not. It's supposed to even log the text. supposed to log the text and I don't think it's now when it locked <coughs> true let's see if that work fixes it it's weird it used to work now it's broken As if it's kind of messed up, stuck or anything. <clears throat> and something else is wrong. Stop it. And this again. Okay, that looks better. But it logged it only once. That is 
strange. In any case, back to the point. We will come back to this one and fix it. Get it when these things happen. <coughs> that's my input. Maybe that's my input, I don't know. Does not looks like hey now it works. Now it works. Okay, so hello. Amazing. Amazing. So I haven't changed anything. I just need to copy this key. These guys don't uh oh, let me just do it secretly. You never know what happens. Just get rid of this key. I'll take this guy there. And what I'll do, I'll I'll go into that one. I'll save it. Technically, if I don't save anything there, and I'm just running. Let's run it. Pregnant. <laughs> okay, now it kind of works. But now it works. So if I say JavaScript, you kind of get an idea. I don't think this uh, voice trigger thing uh, works on the browser. Okay, it works there. So, if I say a JavaScript, that works. Okay, great. Let's keep it like that. Um, and then, and then, let's minimize. Now, let's go back to the point, guys. Let's see. If I change this to .NET, save it. I'm going to actually keep it open. Press it again. Hello. Okay, so that works. .NET. Okay, so it picks it up as .NET. D-O-T-N-E-T. -E which is fine. You can just .NET like that. .NET. Okay, great. So now every time, and this is for you, Jan, every time I talk about .NET, I will get nothing. Nothing is showing up. Wow. .NET. Strange. Okay, so maybe I should reload this browser. Okay, say so .NET. Oh, darn it. .NET. Hmm. It doesn't pick up. Does it work with two words? Of course, because it should work with two words. Let's open up the browser. Localhost, let's see. .NET. Does not like it. Say .NET. Press it again. Net. See, that works. Okay, cool. If we say a phrase, you got it. I'm just saying this might work. Let's just say press it again. You got it. Doesn't like the spaces though. That's also a bug. You got it. Mm, does not like the spaces. Okay, so maybe keys cannot have spaces or dots. That sucks. We should uh, refactor this. 
in any case before i lose my whole crowd of followers uh let's keep it simple let's say php and what else um let's leave it like that for now see how many times i can say php okay that's fine and javascript okay it's the same thing um let's quickly look for another one uh gif green screen okay let's quickly see we we do that no, that doesn't work. Uh, what can we say? <laughs> okay, let's use this one. This is interesting. So whenever I say uh, PHP, that can happen. And whenever I say Okay, and then the crow. What happens if you add .NET without a space? The thing is, my the debugger here says it picks it up as .dot space net, so it's .dot net. And for some reason, it's like frozen now again. But before it breaks. Dope. Let's go see. Quickly go and get some uh, free animal sounds. Right click in the console and it's solved. Okay. Let's see. Oh, Jan, you're the guy. There's a Kappa Jane for you, Jan. How to download, blah, blah. Okay, so what's this? Cab whistle, factory whistle, referee whistle, cat call. <laughs> okay. Uh, this is fine. Let's keep this one. Great. Quickly stop it. Start again. And if I talk about PHP, that works. And if I speak about JavaScript, that still works. So that's fine. Let's run this and see how this performs. We're doing performance testing right now here on the show. Um, all right. So let's quickly close all these things um, and head back into Visual Studio. We are going to be doing some coding. Let's open up our SDN Cast website to see um, if we can get this done with GitHub Actions. Or not, should I just continue with the migration of the site? Because I can do both. It just depends on what's the time. And looking at the time, it's probably not a good idea to do both. what you guys think because we have a kind of decent website already I just would like to have it like CICD into uh, github actions of course <laughs> it wasn't for my PHP program <laughs> that works okay so now we can just change the the port that's not a problem make it 6000 five does not work let's make it 6000 great we're live Okay, so this is the site. That's all Blazor. Blazor-fied. Uh, 
this is fixed. So what is else to do? The live coding sessions. Uh, and admin. I really want to see if we can get this. Uh, I'll tell you what. Let's get this into GitHub Actions. Uh, and then we can, if it's in GitHub Actions, we will then um, make do this live coding page to see it in action. And we won't use PHP. I promise. We will use not JavaScript. Okay, so now let's see. GitHub Actions, how does this work? Mm, GitHub Actions. It's also open source. Uh, I should be part of the... Oh, so sign in. That's adorable. Username. Okay. Great, so how do I enable this now? Sign up for beta. What? I did sign up for beta. Let an account. GitHub Actions is already enabled in your account. Yay! Look at that. Uh, I could test one of the repositories today. So now let's test our SDN code repository, register. Oh, really? Oh, really? It won't work for... <laughs> it won't... Uh, sorry, guys. I can't test it with uh, that thing. Then we have to test it with the uh, voice trigger, I suppose. Well, let's see. Repositories. Voice trigger. There's actions. How cool is that? So this should spit out a, uh, a NuGet package. Echo, hello world. Node.js, Rust and Python packages. Cool. Use a workflow to get started. A simple workflow. It's not really a, it's not really guiding you, you Now let's set up ourselves. We live on the edge. Oh, okay. It's YAML. Okay. Interesting. I just wanted to package to you get. Isn't there seriously no? That isn't there seriously no? Build and test your C sharp repository. Let's test it. And see what will, what will happen if I do this. Start commit. Blank. Okay. No workflows yet. Once you configure the workflows, have run, they will be listed here. Does the preview tab do something maybe? Give it a UI? I don't know, let's go see. Let's go see. Um, actions. Okay, there's my actions. Okay, looks like it takes a while. Okay, that kind of works. Run one line of script, complete job. That's it's quite fast. I must say, that's. Uh, what do you guys think? Okay, so now the idea is to get you because I'm coming from an Azure DevOps background. Um, it's kind of similar, but still, this still a bit different. So 
So blank to demo must do something, right? Edit. Okay, there we go. Edit workflow. And you set the preview tab on the right. Oh yeah, there we go. Preview changes. And no changes to show. Okay. That's annoying. Let's see. Okay. Use actions. Run a one-liner script. Run a multi-liner script. Uh, let's see what they say here. On push branches. Okay. On push. Okay. On pull. On schedule. It runs on Ubuntu. Okay. So in this case, we just run it on uh, any way we want. In this case, Ubuntu is fine. Um, jobs is bold. Runs on whatever matrix steps. Uh, okay. I'm not sure really I like it so far. Um, doesn't do anything. On the top there's docs manual. On the top there is a docs manual. Uh, if you can point me out where on the top there is a docs the manual. Where it is. I don't know, but this one. Let's see. Um, no. Let's go see what this is. Uh, I feel dirty. Oh, there it's gone. Workflow syntax for get up action. So I went there now, but it's only it's like syntaxy and it makes my head hurt when I go there. And now I completely mess this whole thing up. Let's go add a new workflow. Really are they gonna take me to YAML? I don't wanna go to YAML. Life's too short for YAML. Well, I don't like this either. Too much YAML, not enough UI, like DevOps preview features enabled, which doesn't have UI until a couple of months. Well, it kind of lacks documentation, in my opinion. You know? I can do YAML, but, you know, just give me some dot nakedness. I don't like these. Oh, YAML, that's a one. W will it be even if I say YAML? What will... YAML. <laughs> YAML. YAML. Yahoo. YAML. That's fine. We can do YAML. I'm gonna I'm gonna stop it and I'm gonna change my config right now to YAML. I say put that one. YAML, that's fine, so let's see start. And if we speak about YAML, YAML, it doesn't pick it up. <laughs> YAML. Now that works. Not always correct if we say YAML. It doesn't pick it up all the time. But it's fine. Let's imagine we speak about JavaScript. That works. Okay, great, so, okay, now the thing is, um, how do I build a .NET application? GitHub Marketplace. Uh -huh, let's see. Actions, .NET. I'm sure there is a .NET, uh, GitHub Actions, .NET, really. Net example. <laughs> oh, I see. Okay, wait a minute. I guess maybe you check out. Run a one-liner script. Okay, so now let's say we say bold project. Do that. 
you guys can see that, right? So let's maybe zoom in a bit. Um, just change the music, please. That's much better. All right, so there's a run is I would say .NET build. Start commit, commit changes. Please work. Uh, since this should work, right? So hopefully. It's a .NET uh, SDK. Hmm. Yep. This just feels a bit rough around the edges, I would say, for now. Hey, but hey, maybe we can uh, still try it out. You never know. It's loading, but it's not doing anything. <laughs> I must say the user experience is a bit more. Okay, there goes my second demo. So what I will do, I guess I'll just neatly tuck this away. And... Uh, we make as if nothing happens and then we'll slowly die in infinity. Okay, so now let's quickly continue with this SDN cost site because uh, it's getting bit of out of control. Alright, so we have SDN cost, which is this guy, which is that's me. What? <coughs> And then we have our live coding. Now the live coding, if I'm not mistaken, that is the that's in here, right? Okay, so this is the original one. I think I think what we can do is also what I've learned is this uh, hero banner. Mm, some people that mm, wait, where am I now? We can we could refactor a few things here. Yeah. We have what do we have? We have the side body, which is basically this. Um, and then we have the main menu, which is that. Layout, which is that. North menu, which is that. A different way of doing kind of this is apparently when you say a new class, you call it nav menu base dot eraser let's maybe call it nav menu and we say dot razor dot cs right sort of neatly tucks it in there almost like a kind of a um, code behind file you need to call it something else because it kind of clashes with the, with the normal one and then we inherit from 
its component base. Let's do that. And then technically, you, <clears throat> we could move this in here. If I'm not mistaken. And then obviously stuff will go missing. We'll get rid of this code block here. This is pure HTML. And then, um, and then, we could go inherits. We can say nav menu base. That will allow us but this will still work though. Let's maybe try a different one. That's the root, hero banner. There's a lot of code in here. logic really needed. The point I'm trying to make is um, yeah, maybe this is a good one. Mm, yeah, it's just normal, normal properties. The point I'm trying to make is when you get complex things you could move this out into a separate CS file. Because when I run this now it should work. It still work it as accepted as expected. So when I do that, the button disappears when you do that. I think that's what it's supposed to do. Collapse menu, collapse. Yeah, that's kind of the idea. I think. Um, right. Undo these things. Actually, let's re let's reset this whole thing. I'm actually quite pissed that uh, GitHub Actions doesn't work. So annoying. Okay, so why? Let, let's keep that open. Yeah, there we go. Uh, old engine, that worked. This is my project. Okay. Alright. I'm just going to quickly flip uh, back and forth because I'm still getting the kind of title of this uh, stream is um, getting the GitHub actions. So let's see if we go back to code. Oh no. Uh, this one? No. What? I want to edit this thing. It's so complicated, actually. Uh, okay, so it needs to know where we are. Okay. And we are currently here. So uh, we're here on root, I believe. So we need to go to source, voice trigger, and yes. Source. Voice trigger. Uh, 
That should work right. Actions speak louder than words. something. Hmm, still broke. Project file does not exist. Interesting. Voice triggered on CS Project. Maybe it is case sensitive. Can it be the case? Sensitive for T? I think it is. Because I think it's Ubuntu. Yeah, Eric has a good point. We're running in a Linux container. I feel, you know, it's the name, I feel, think there's uh, still something wrong with the, with the workflows, yeah. Looks like something's happening. Restore completed. Okay, now it first restored the stuff. I'm just quickly checking at this uh, .NET bump version. It's a CLI that bumps the version of the current project. This is useful when working with multiple .NET Core projects placed with different solutions. Um, yeah, okay, but the problem is it's very old. The command will increment part of the version number you, uh, of your CS project according to your argument you pass in. Major, minor, patch, or revision. When your argument is submitted, the revision number is always bumped. Okay, cool, but show me the money. Okay, that worked. Yay, we've got a .NET. And .NET build is working. That's fine. And now we need to make it work somewhere else. Let's see. Da -da -da -da. I think it's actually... Ooh. Let's see if there's uh, other tools out there. .NET pump, .NET version.
thing is now, how do you um, incorporate .NET version or something? <laughs> Let's test it and see if this works. <coughs> Edit workflow. Oh, there goes my light. Can you believe it? that means I probably need to... Come on, on. That's cool. Okay. Now let's see if we say that project's built. Now we need to uh, hit .NET version. Do I need to install this every time? Is this a bit, a bit stupid? It's fine. Maybe there's a way around it. Okay, that's fine. And then we can go and say .NET version version patch probably need to give a directory I must probably give a output format JSON just to see if this works. Like that, right? Let's see if this works. I cannot keep, uh, keep on talking and talking and talking, but what can I say? So we actually we went from voice trigger to Azure Repos, uh, Azure Actions. We went back to SDN Cast website, Blazor stuff. Then we went back to, uh, to voice trigger and now we're back building github actions like the title says we need to build so now we're building the project cool i think the initial workflow should be dotnet pack or something i believe dotnet tool pack or something the thing is it just takes a while to restore these uh, things because it's building a project now but it's actually restoring the dependencies And I assume when you um, do like a cross compilation or something, or build in parallel, or uh, Windows, Mac, and Linux, you'd have parallel build steps. Maybe in one, but have parallel actions or something.
Okay, that works. The bolt worked. Get dot inversion. Just uh, that did not work. Version name. Okay. Run dot net version or oh, execute cool dot net version. Hmm. Version. It doesn't work all the time. We can invoke the tool by using command.net version, which we've done. And then we run .NET version. I cannot find executable. We could use a git version. It's in preview. <laughs> it's uninstalled. How annoying. Yo, so we can edit this image build task, which is cool. Hit version task. Okay. Currently works with desktop supports course R was coming soon. Brew install. This is very annoying, I don't know how. See, it only works with the image build one. Maybe this will work if we say, let's try it first locally to see if this works. You can actually can kill that, kill that. Let's open voice trigger again. We'll go to CD voice trigger, source voice trigger. Okay. 
Ooh, come on, line. What is this one? Heat vision command line. Okay, is it the thing? That one task. What's the difference between Git version command line and Git version? Does GitHub action support PowerShell because there are multiple scripts available to update version number from CSProj files? True. Running power script, power cell scripts. I suppose if you're running on an image, on a Windows image, and given that PowerShell is installed in that image, it might work. But we'd like our code to be self contained um, because I, I, otherwise I might as well include the kit version. EXE, which is also an option, but more. This is cool. This is the so we'll do is we'll copy that out <coughs> and we'll uh, stick it in. In here, <coughs> you see what we get. You can also test it on the .NET Core Global 2 beta release. You won't need to run it. I mean, you won't need Mono to run it on Mac or Linux. The thing is this. We could do this, but the thing is it's not picking up the Global 2. Um, okay, now it's blurred. Does this mean if I install this now and I just do a quick rebuild? I'm gonna stop this guy. And then we'll go to version. Does not work. Or maybe. Maybe it does.
Also a support. Okay, I'll put also a now. The thing is, um. Not what I want. Is this command line one? How does this work? That's the. That is something I want to know. Command line. This one. Docker install. Humble install. Not picking up Git version though. works at this moment I have no idea what I'm doing so let's see the alternate bolt missing exception you get commands restore request not use this because obviously not working as expected update jet brains what if you just joined us uh, welcome very much Welcome very much. Is that even English? Good, good morning, good evening, and good afternoon. Uh, okay, one unable to read cache from it version. Okay, deleting it. Okay, no, that's great. Okay, rebuild. We are playing around with uh, get up actions. That used to work, let's go MS Bolt. And that also works. Now, um, the fact is that we have this build task. And how does it work? So, building project, MS Bolt, wipe, good version to the pipeline. Um, Simply version set assembly variable. Okay. So does that mean when I have this guy? Where's my version? Details. Look at that. That kind of works. <laughs> in, a, in a way. <laughs> Run it again. <coughs> hmm. I 
How can I do this uh, thing? It's a version, version prefix, version suffix, package version, commercial version. Then check the variables. All the variables will be injected into this internal static class. Compile it generated. I see. Okay. Well, how do we Okay, so now I'll use symbol number for new get project. So if we then do I think it's this, right? Too true. Oh gosh. No no. Something else is writing to this thing. Ecstasy is a street name for the drug methylene deoxymethamphetamine (MDMA), an amphetamine-based okay. synthetic drug gold. with euphoric effect. Stimulant drugs speed up the messages between the brain and the body and can make a person feel more awake, alert, confident, or energetic. There. Because I didn't change there. Useful when we get through. That's what I'm gonna. So useful symbol when you get true, okay, and then we can and go to the variable section, and I think we can say ecstasy is a street name for the drug methylene deoxymethamphetamine (MDMA), an amphetamine-based synthetic drug with euphoric effects. Will you say the flow? If it's now get help flow or get flow or something like that. Ecstasy. 
No oh, mode continues to every okay. Okay. Just uh, for interest sake, if I have this it version in it. What will happen if I do a uh, new item? YAML. Really? No YAML file. Shame. Git version dot YAML. And paste this guy in there. I'm very curious to see what will happen if I just build this now. The get assembly version was not given a value to require parameter the NuGet version. Okay, so NuGet version. Getting somewhere. NuGet version. The version class was not given a value for the required parameter. You get it. Also not working. And the nice thing is when I take this out, save it, it still work. And it still works. So it's something in this configuration. This is annoying. Keeps on changing the file. Get assembly version. You get version. Why doesn't it work? Let's go read. Okay, get to version two.
go away. Why is this not working? Take this off. What can be the problem here? So this, so this. Thing. What I actually want to do is do a more do that, right? Keeps it like that. Grand Master Shy. <coughs> it's quite annoying. Okay, so wait a minute. So if I go now, <laughs> don't need pack. I think it's new get builds. Um, and then configuration is release. It still keeps it at 1.1. 1 .1. All right. Um,
AP continuous deployment should be enabled. I don't know what I'm doing. Oh, there we go. Dot dash ci. That adds. That's the difference between the continuous deployment and the continuous delivery. The build. Go back to the release here. It's plus five. This definitely works. So if we go continuous deployment. Was it able to CI yeah, dot five? Okay, plus branch master dot oh, that. Um, Okay, so let's see if we go .NET image build p pack properties invalid a t okay cool so now it creates that interesting Okay, so that will create that. Okay, cool. Um, I think we say that. We also created that as well. So that's fine. Makes, can you believe it? Um, okay, now
ways my beta punches. So I guess I can just go and um, let's check this in to see if it works. Okay, we mustn't forget to add these tags, right? So this. Um, cancel this go to actions edit workflow um, in this case we won't get dot we'll do that and then we'll see what it does. It actually still feels a bit wonky. If you just joined us, uh, welcome very much. Don't always do that. Building the project is probably restoring it. Restore has been completed. Is this concerning? Hey, look, they pulled it. Nice. Okay, so now that's 13, right? What'll happen? If I run it again. Just to see if this works. The previous version was 13. I expect it to be 14. feel that Azure DevOps has more built in and um, given that Microsoft owns GitHub probably 
I would have thought a .NET Core or something would be a first class citizen. Microsoft does not own .NET Core, the community does. If you just joined me in the chat, hello, do reach out with your comments, questions um, or feedback below in the chat here. Um, if you want to know what I'm doing, I am playing around with GitHub Actions, trying to get the darn version to work properly. release branch oh yeah here we go releases I can create a tag and they say it's B okay create new tag if I call this V1.0.1 for instance publish release for instance I go back to Actions. That should build my tag. Alright, that should do things. Not two. thing to um, finish. So now, if I do a 
Let's think about it. Um, edit. Okay, request on schedule. Now I want to publish. How do I publish to NuGet package? Let's see how this works. So, we've got container. Google and we say uh, GitHub actions you get Let's see, okay, so set up plan, set up Python, complete labor. Docker, cloud, Azure. We have NuGet. Secrets, okay, there we go. Encrypt it. Okay, let's add a new secret. I'm gonna add my quickly add my new secret. Um call this um new get what do I need here? Let's create a key name for GitHub. Okay, push. And then you say, okay. Interesting, so I have to select. Okay. Let's do that. Let's copy it. And paste it in there. We add a secret, and it's called NuGet Key. 
that should be fine, right? So if I have that key in there, I go edit the workflow. Now, ladies and gentlemen, welcome. Thank you for joining. I think we are now a bit further with um, voice triggers, automatic CI CD using GitHub Actions. So we have npm publish, da -da -da, and then how do you go to the syntax? Let's see, we can find secrets. Okay, secrets get up token. Let's do that. Back. And then. You get I think we had uh, Oh okay so the server URL it becomes tricky how do you select the action that was just built the bin release this guy maybe if we say options this is the path or to the package and your API key to push to the server if we say uh, google.net um, nuget push wildcard will that even work Set up, get to the secrets again. I need to copy this guy. And that needs to be pushed in there. Like so. Do I need to specify the server? That's the other question.
Okay, so what is the NuGet um, course? So let's maybe keep it like that and see what happens. Watch your fingers. Let's see. <clears throat> let's see what happens. This takes uh, a while. Almost need to run, guys. parameter was not set what okay I tell you what I will take a look at this and I will maybe continue this on the next stream and that was another stream um, didn't go as planned maybe next time we will prepare much better uh, but thank you very much joining i need to go sleep and attend to the babies um yeah, like i always follow me on uh, twitch.tv and uh, on twitter at funny renders and uh, if you have any questions do reach out cheers